Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It's spring, so it's time I got started planting a few seeds. Um, I know a lot of people have already launched ahead and they've got all kinds going on, but um, I I've tried to hold off this year. I have got four seed trays in the house on the go. I've got some mixed lettuces in there. I've got my tomatoes on the go. Nothing's germinated yet, mind. Even in the house, in the spare room, it's cold, so... Um, I'm still, the lettuce of Germany, but not the tomatoes. Anyway, first time in the greenhouse for this season. Um, as usual, I'm beset with a terrible crisis of confidence. This is my fifth year growing veg, but um, every year I just feel like I can't do this. I don't know what to do. I haven't got a clue, but I'm just going to get the seeds in the ground and they grow. You don't need to know much. You just need to know how to stick a seed in the ground. So I've got an interesting thing to show you today. I've got two things I'm going to plant. One's just some bog standard spinach. Um, they like cold temperatures. It's good to get them in early. Um, I'm starting them off in seed trees. You don't necessarily have to, but uh, at this time of year, it's probably best to. The other thing I've got is in here, I've got some peas, which I've soaked overnight. Um, that's going to help them to germinate more easily. Now, I, I usually plant direct sow my peas straight into the ground. Um, I've never had a lot of bother with vermin eating the seed before. Last year I didn't do too well, but in the previous years yet yeah, they've grown fine. So I'm going to just put them, direct sow them. But these are something a bit different, something a bit special. So I want to take a bit more care with them. This is a variety called Kent Blue, as you can see from the label. Bill and Val very kindly sent me these. And um, I had to Google what they were. That's them there just soaking in the water. They're quite an unusual looking pea that some of them have swelled up a bit but they're very small and speckled like that i googled them they're a pea that gets a blue flower they are um very rare and they're a medieval type of pea so isn't that fantastic i've got about about 20 of them so i want to be careful with them um I don't want to just direct sow them because if the vermin do get them off the field to germinate for some other reason, like if it gets too damp or whatever, uh, I don't want to lose them. Um, so I'm going to plant these into seed trees. I'm going to keep them in the greenhouse till they've germinated. And I think I might grow these in the garden so I can keep a careful eye on them. Probably this year I won't be growing these to with the aim of harvesting food from them. I think I will just be growing these on to propagate more seed. Uh, possibly pass them on to other people if I can get enough um, and try and keep a rare breed growing, going, not growing, growing and going. <laughs> I'm planting these seed trees. They've got the big hole in the bottom so you can push um, your seedling out when it comes to transplanting it. They are big, um, but I quite like it because it means you haven't got to pot things on when they get too big for the original little seed tree. That's the pea. Some have swollen right up and some haven't, so I don't know what that means. Uh, I've got about 20, so I'm going to put them one or two to each little compartment. And they are going to stay in the greenhouse and they're going to get lots of TLC. Um, and I'm pretty excited about them. The spinach variety is a variety called Apollo. I um, don't think I've grown this one before. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just going to do a full tree of this because I like it for 
early salads. I'm dying for some homegrown salad. It spoiled me actually. Um, grow my own lettuce last year. I had such fabulous lettuce, such lovely varieties that I can't uh, tolerate the shop stuff anymore. I think it's awful. So I'm, I've been dying for salad for months now. Not long now. And I'm going to put my peas over the allotment uh, after this. In the video at any rate it won't be today because i think we're forecast for snow can you believe for this afternoon oh, i'm sick of it um but the second part of this video i'm going to be up with the allotment planting the rest of my peas i've got some great varieties this year really excited for the peas <laughs> if i had the room i would plant masses and masses of them but my constant complaint is i've got no blooming room at that little allotment just i could do with three times this space i've got a lovely um Monge 2 variety and it's a yellow pod it's i get them from real seeds it says it's a very rare variety um i don't know whether that's true i've got a, a very tall one um i think it's called telegraph pole or telephone pole or something um and that's supposed to get the 10 foot tall so i'm not quite sure how i'm going to deal with that uh yeah and so a couple of other varieties as well just something a bit different um I mean, I've got the I've got the usual Kelvin Wonder and uh, early onwards, but um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to fit them all. Welcome to the allotment again. It's been a few days since the first part of this video because it got freezing cold again. We had snow, uh, the whole nine yards. Anyway, beautiful it is. Mild, sunny, can't believe it. So I'm up here to get those peas in to the ground. I have got some things going on here already. Um, we did a few little bits of adjustments and tidying up over the course of the winter. Kenny does the the hard work in that respect we took out uh, a raised bed that we had and lengthened one of our existing borders to take up that space to give us more growing room i've put in a couple of big strawberry beds and um, which i'm hoping for strawberries this year uh, the broad beans that i sowed in the autumn are coming on fabulously we didn't lose any at all to pests or weather or anything and I've got this big bed here of garlic and onion, which I've got plans for this year. I'm gonna attempt later on in the year, uh, when the beans are ready, the green beans, I'm gonna interplant with the garlic. Um, the garlic should be just about ready by the time the beans go in. So I'm gonna interplant French beans or bush beans between the rows of the garlic and with the onions I'm going to attempt either to put maybe beetroot or possibly leeks in a planted there. We'll see. Plans change. I've got a few borders which still have uh, last year's kale in. I've just left them all winter for, for feeding the hens and I'm leaving them until the last minute. I'll take that. I'll take them out when um, I need to plant those borders. Um, I might as well grow the leaves for the hens while I can and they can just sit there. I've got some lovely tree cabbage and that's going to be my potato border. Um, I think I'll just leave that in if it doesn't try and run to seed, which it may well. And what else have I got? I've got my um, purple sprout and broccoli, which is, I've already taken um, the central stem off them to eat and I'm leaving the side stems to grow at the minute. But although I've only got a few, they're very nice, they're very healthy. So all in all, even though it's right at the beginning of the season, I have got quite a few things going on. Plenty of old straggly leeks still left in the ground. We've been eating them all winter. Um, I'm hoping to leave a couple of them in for seed. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. The, the, the remaining ones don't look that great. So we'll see if that works out. <music> This is 
is the bed that I'm putting all the peas and the beans in this year. I don't think you can tell on camera, but it's really mounded up because just in front of here, this is where we took away the big raised bed um, and all the soil from that got piled up in here. So I'm gonna have to rake it all flat a bit. I'll just be planting this first bit, I think today. Um, so I best just get cracking. As I said, I've got some quite nice varieties that I'm excited to grow uh, from real seeds. This one is a golden sweet yellow potted monge too. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. Uh, which sounds lovely. I haven't grown monge too before and I like the, you know, it'll be yellow. I don't know what colour the blossom will be, but I like the allotment to look pretty as well as functional. Uh, this one is called a Telephone Tall uh, Climbing Pea. This is the one that grows 10 foot tall. I'm not, I don't know whether I'm going to put that in. I might put it elsewhere where I've got some high fencing. Not 10 foot tall like. Yeah, but it probably won't grow 10 foot, will it, to see that. Uh, I've also got this Champion of England Tall Climbing Pea. This one's a rare variety saved from a grandfather, passed down and all the rest of it from a stately home. Um, sounds like a good one. Uh, I've just got some standard main crop Douche Provence, is it, is it called? Wants to put in as well. I've got multiple packets of peas at home. Way too many. Um, if I had the room, as I say, I would sow them all, but I just haven't. So I'll crack on, I'll sow these and see how many we can get in. Uh, I haven't soaked them. Reason being, because I didn't really know what the weather was going to be like. It's been soaking down, as it usually is at this time of year. I didn't want to soak them and then not be able to get them in. But, uh, you know, they should germinate. It'll just might take them a little bit longer. First allotment planting of the year. How exciting can you get? If you're new to planting, peas just go in quite shallow, about two inches apart. In a double row, about six inches wide. always put in more than you think because you always lose some to the critters just a two foot pea, they're not a tall climbing pea. I'm trying to put as much tall stuff in as I can this year and maybe avoid more of the uh, lower ones just because vertical gardening is making a much better use of my space as I'm always limited here. So um, I've forgotten to bring, I've got loads of peas, tall ones, but um, I've left the seed at home. So I'm gonna put in these telephone tall 10 foot ones here. Kenny's promised me this year he will do the bean and pea frames because I'm so hopeless at it. So I'm going to have to remind him of that. There's some extra big ones in here, I think. But I figure if it's 10 foot tall, 
you know that's going to be twice as many peas hopefully as a five foot tall plant well if the weather holds i'll be back up again here tomorrow to get some more peas in what a lovely day thanks for joining me in this first planting video of the year and hope to see you next week probably or maybe the week after we'll see catch you next time bye